The Siteman Cancer Center offers a summer opportunities program to students of accredited universities who are interested in research. For the right students, there are many benefits to participating in the program. If you're looking to really get a good taste, a good exposure, or a chance to dive in, it's, it's perfect for that. Uh, there are opportunities to hear speakers on different topics as well, so there's broader education than just the project that you're working on. But again, for exposure to research, it's a great way, in a time-limited way, to see exactly what that's like and what it's like to live that life for even just a few weeks for a summer. Dr. DeShields was matched with an undergraduate student from St. Louis University for a study on symptom concordance. My project was in uh, clinical research with, um, with Dr. Teresa DeShields, and we worked um, on a project on a topic called symptom concordance, which is basically trying to understand um, the level of agreement between physicians and patients in three different oncology uh, clinics at Siteman. Swathi came in from the very beginning. She came in before the study actually started accruing participants, so she got to see a little bit of the logistics of launching that study. She did um, all of the consenting and data collection for us. Um, she got to interact with patients. She got to interact with the oncology uh, physicians and nurses. Um, so that was a, an experience that she really enjoyed, seeing how the clinic operates. She is interested in medical school, so got to see what it's like in the actual clinical practice. The two continue to work together after the summer program and submitted an abstract that will be presented in April 2012. After the summer, I continued to work with Teresa DeShields um, on an abstract which we submitted to the Society of Behavioral Medicine. And thankfully, we were accepted um, to present that in April. Um, and so the abstract is basically uh, pertaining to what we did over the summer, and it's looking at our results um, in terms of symptom concordance. And the presentation is in the middle of April in New Orleans at the Society of Behavioral Medicine. And I will be presenting the abstract, and which will eventually lead to a paper, hopefully by the end of the year.